All right. Welcome to the channel. We're going to play a little bit of Xenonauts 2 closed beta version 9.3 from Goldhawk Interactive. Now, this game is phenomenal. It's still in beta, but it's actually getting quite far along, I think. If you like the game XCOM 2 or even the original XCOM, this is more akin to the original XCOM, but now it's 3D. So Xenonauts 1 was in one dimension, <laughs> isometric, really two dimension, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna play Iron Man because safe scumming sucks and it's for losers. But what I like about this is Goldhawk actually produced and released. <clears throat> produced and released a game as an indie developer. You don't see that too often. There's a lot of games I've been burned on. Uh, Stonehearth being one of them. I like this game because it's got really good scope. Uh, but now the 3D graphics, not just having the one isometric view. I think really brings it together. So let's go ahead and pick an airbase location. I almost always pick the United States because America, Team America, World Police. So we'll go in to our main base and take a look. So they've reverted back to the Xenonauts 1 style, tile-based base system. I like this better. Um, they did one that was more akin to XCOM 2 where it was a side view cut out. And while I like that for XCOM 2, I think for this game, the tile-based system works better. So to start out with, I have limited power. Um, I want a medical room because I need people to recover fast. Because they're going to get shot. It's going to be ugly. And I'm going to need that. So the alien invasion, that is the first research project. It starts already going, so you don't have to worry about starting it. But as soon as this finishes, you'll get more options. Engineering, we're gonna manufacture another interceptor just cause I wanna be able to shoot down stuff more frequently. It's pretty expensive. You only start with one and a half million dollars. So keep that in mind as you build stuff early on. You might wanna temper your, your efforts a little bit. So going to soldiers, we see who we have first here. Uh, you start with a good mix, it's randomized every time. Here's their stats, HP is obvious, health points. TU, those are the time units or action points as we're all used to from the original XCOM. Now, the higher that number, the more points they have. The more points they have, the more things they can do each turn. The bigger the weapons, usually the more points it takes to do it as an action. So. Higher time units are better for your more mobile folks, your scouts, your assault folks. And initially the loadouts are broken out into four different groups. You've got infantry, that's your standard rifleman. You got heavy, which is your machine gunner, usually. Or squad automatic weapon carrier. Uh, you've got your sniper, obviously that's your marksman right there. So for them, their stats are different. And you've got assault, that's your getting in the face of the enemy stabbing them, beating them with riot batons, or, you know, pistol whipping them, which is what I like to do. Too bad it's not an actual mechanic, but I can dream. So with our starting loadout, you can sort by stat, but time units, something who's high in time units and high in bravery, I tend to stick on assault duty just because I know they won't break immediately when engaging in close combat. And the time units will give them the time to get in, take actions, and get out if possible. Accuracy, highest accuracy you want to usually give to your snipers. You want to assign the snipers to high accuracy. Strength, you want to assign the heavy to because heavy weapons are heavy. And rifle. And I, this is good for your sniper as well, but I think this is just general rifle skills. I'd have to look up the exact details on that, but you know what? You can find that on the wiki. So I'm going to go through and assign these folks real quick. We'll be right back. Mm. 
All right, we're back. I like to go with two assaults, a sniper and a heavy, and then the rest is infantry. Uh, I do notice here that I picked this guy who was unassigned as my heavy. I need to reassign somebody. So, old Lewis Hughes here, or Huggies, we're going to make unassigned and put him on the Skyhawk. All right, so we got our squad set up. Uh, moving on to supplies. This is where you'll find your loot and anything you manufacture. So these are, they should be independent per base, but we'll see later. Now we go to the armory. Right now, for some reason, the rolls aren't set up for equipment yet. So I'm gonna have to go through and fix that real quick, but infantry is fine. Just make sure the carry weight's good. They're not over their max or they'll lose AP or time units to you. You got your two squads here. So I'm gonna go down the line. Okay, this guy is an assault. Right click on that to get rid of it. Get rid of the ammo that goes with it. We'll assign the shotgun and get rid of one grenade. They can carry two extra shotgun round magazines. Okay, next we've got another infantryman. Old Brendan Brooks, American. Uh, he's pretty good. He can actually carry a little extra. So let's see if he can carry medkit. No, it's going to be too much. I could drop. I do need medics. So he's going to carry a little less ammo. Still carry one of each grenade there. Uh, you'll notice the combat armor. I could switch this to tactical if I know they're not going to be in direct combat or at risk of getting shot. But for right now, pretty much everybody but my sniper should be fairly close. Okay, so we've got another infantryman who's actually a lady, a Frenchie. Uh, we'll give her, since she has a little more strength than most, it seems. Okay, we'll give her... A little bit of extra grenade. A little bit of extra grenades. Uh, moving on to the next, we'll go to our sniper. Drop that, give her the ballistic rifle. Uh, I'm going to just drop a grenade and she should be good. Go to the next infantry, uh, drop a grenade. He should be good. Get her assault, drop that. Go ahead and give him a shotgun. Drop a grenade. That should be good. Actually, I gotta drop those and give them shotgun ammo. Got infantry. They should be good. I'm just gonna leave them as is for now. Same for her. And my heavy. Badass Mr. Tabor. The Hungarian with his sweet mutton chops. Uh, yeah, we'll give him a little bit more. Actually, he's got a pistol. He's got a ton of room. So you can take combat armor. We'll give him one extra magazine for his belt-fed weapon here, the saw. Check squad two, make sure they're good to go. I will drop some of this shit for him. Actually, I don't think I can, cause, yep, nope, can't do anything. Okay, let's look at our aircraft. So later on, when you get upgrades, you can uh, swap out the cannon, you can swap out the Sidewinder missiles for other ones, and upgrade the plating. So eventually you will have multiple bases, you can relocate them to the other bases, you want to balance it out later on. For now we have the one, we won't deal with that. Next we want to check out the positioning in our, our drop aircraft, Chinook, or the shit hook as we like to call it. Typically, I like to have my sniper and my machine gunner up front. Let's see if I can get rid of them here. Nope. Okay, so you just gotta click and drag them, and then I'll swap. So I'm gonna put him up front with my sniper so they can immediately get in the action. And two, we got an assault. They can pop outside there. I wanna put the other assault there too, so I need seven. Swap with nine. And that's good to go. Archives is just going to be 
events that you have in there, so you can go back and read it later. Now I have a little bit of extra space in the barracks, so I want to hire more soldiers. We can get four right now. Uh, I think I'm going to try to go for best overall stats here, generally. We need some brave folks, so pretty low on stats, but we'll take her. Oh, Frederick Anderson. Uh, he's got a lot of time units for Camilla Garcia. We'll take her. And Anya Bush. And we'll take... Who else? We'll take old... Double Andre there. That'd be double entendre. All right, now they're hired. So it'll take a little bit for them to show up, but we can do other things while they do. And that means we'll go back to the geoscape. I want to sign those two extra folks, Lewis Hughes and Alexei Markov, to work on this. Uh, we'll get to pick from one of these once we complete it, but it'll take them a total of two days, nine hours. Less travel time they have, less overall time. Start that mission. Time is advancing, and we're going to speed it up a little bit. All right, that research is done, so now we can we can start the other. So we'll start the heavy launcher. Get us a grenade launcher. Let's continue. And that one's complete. I want an engineer to start out with, because I need to assign him to the generator to get more power. So we can start upgrading more. I want some more living quarters. First, I need to assign somebody. There we go. <laughs> and that'll take 192 hours, 33 hours left on the med bay. And we'll assign a scientist that we get later to that. So while those people are still in, let's see if I can start modifying their kit, which doesn't look like I can. All right, well, we're just going to keep sending these guys out on missions. And now that we've got the rest of them in. Actually, they're not in yet, so we'll continue on. Start from the closest one so you can get them done quicker. Uh, okay, we got another interceptor. That's great. I don't quite want to spend my money on a Skyhawk just yet, because I don't really have enough players or enough soldiers yet. Keep trucking on. All right, we got our first UFO. Let's launch our three fighters. And away they go. I want to do the knock, knock this guy out of the sky while he's over land and not water. That way, we get the opportunity to raid it with our ground forces. All right, so let's do the attack. You can auto resolve this, which I honestly usually do. But let's commence the attack. It's pausable tactical combat, real time, so you just watch it go. These get a little more complex later on. All right, we took them out with. Minimal damage. That's good. All right, let's get our forces out to the crash site. It's at a farm. So we get a total of... Well, some of these could be friendly, I think. It's kind of hard to tell, but... Potentially eight unknown forces. Let's go into mission planning. Send out Skyhawk 1. Send in the Shayhawk. All right, we got a medical room. I'm gonna go ahead and put somebody in there just to start with. And we're gonna commence our mission. Now you notice there are much larger forces than what you would have in uh, XCOM 2. This is kind of like the original XCOM 2. Um, as well, XCOM as well. What I've noticed is it's much easier to stay personable with 
your smaller squad sized elements. So typically a squad sized element is about six to eight individuals. Two fire teams and a squad leader with team leaders. Now that isn't as big a deal, but I find it's easier to keep track of those people. I, I personally can connect with them. I care if they die. When you start getting a, a sized element like this, which is, you know, a platoon minus, now you're dealing with, well, I care about that entire squad. If I lose that entire, if I lose that entire element, then I care. You start thinking about this with RTS games. What do you run into? You stop caring, caring about your, your peon units and you care about like the heroes and the like. It's just what you identify with. So yeah, do I care if Wilma Blom gets killed? Uh, kinda, kinda sucks, but well, I care when she's ranked up quite a bit. I'll start connecting with those ones that I've had for a while. But even then, it becomes difficult to remember their names. All right, let's push up. So these hedgerows are terrible for line of sight. Just terrible. So I'm going to pop people out the side. Now, if you hit Q and E, you can actually rotate the camera. Novel concept, I know. That's the edge of the map, so I don't have to worry about that. Come around just to make sure that we're clear. Getting the cover is key, as in most of these tactical turn-based games. And providing cover fire for all your folks. Now, apparently I fucked up my order on that, so... Guys behind, have them stand over the guys that are kneeling. That way they don't shoot them in the back of the head. Alright, we are in position. Now those shots are... Somebody died. Probably shooting civilians. Or we got hostiles. A lot of shooting going on, and it ain't me. Let's see if any of my guys can see this alien. Not quite. Let's pop around the side here. Still can't hit him. Let's try to frag him. Yeah, I basically got no chance of hitting him. So, I'm just going to provide overwatch. This guy's got that one. Have him watch. Get this guy up to cover. I'm going to fan out a little bit here. As much as possible, get intersecting fields of fire. That's always key with fire maneuver. Push up against the hedgerow here. And we'll start pushing up with these folks. We got four on this side. Since we got ten total, I'm gonna send out this guy with them. Get the sniper in position out here. Get him into position. He's not gonna go to fire anytime soon, but can at least get in position. That's key. Positioning is everything. Okay, Let's see what they do. I I just heard the spaceship actually open. Yeah, get some. Shot him right in the Xeno knee. Somebody died out there. We might be able to breach around that corner and take him down. He's not really going to be able to move uh, without losing the ability to shoot. Because I think he needs 31. I uh, might be able to. Let's get out there. Shot him. 
shot. All right, good hit. Pop around the corner with this guy. That's a swing and a miss. Get the next guy out there. Already suppressed at least. Get down. That guy's gonna be providing cover for everybody else. Get into position. here. Push Chen up here. Get the shotgun on the corner. The shotgun. Stand behind him. And we'll keep stacking up on that hedgerow. Alright, end of the turn. Shot right in the knee. That was payback for the other one. Alright. Sounds like the friendlies are taking it to the enemy. Alright, time to peel out. Push this guy to this edge. Put the shotguns up front. And make sure you're looking around as you go. up to this hedgerow. Shot. That's a miss. That probably deafened him in reality. Taking a shot right over his shoulder. Push up here. And the sniper here. guys up here. Alright, that's good. Didn't hear any friendlies die. Yeah, he took out one of them. Gotta love when the civilians take it up to him. Only in America. Maybe Canada. Kind of hard to tell where that was. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna do bounding Overwatch here. So pushing up with Brendan. I don't want my injured soldiers leading the charge. Alright, pushing up. Keep moving up. Sniper back a little bit. They don't need to be all the way up front. Keep the shotguns out forward. think we've got any hostiles here, so I'm not too worried about keeping all the APs or the time units. Alright, I think we'll call it there. I do think the spaceship or the UFO is up to the north side here. We're gonna keep these guys flanking around. Try to pie corners as much as possible. You don't want to just pop up right around them. It's good for surprising enemy if you know they're there, but not so good when you don't know they're there. You walk around and get overwatched yourself. Pushing up. Get 
to stack up on this wall here. And we'll come up over here. Yep, just as I thought. That side is clear. Clear this corner. Pull security here. Pull my sniper back a little bit. Fan out on the edge of this hedgerow in this intersection. Stack up a little bit. And continuing. Let's hope those civilians take them down. It'll make our jobs so much easier. Alright, no activity. Leads me to believe there's only the aliens that are in the UFO. Let's push up with this guy. Oh, we're clear on that corner. Push them up to the same cart. Points left. I don't really want to move them. They took the risk getting over here and clearing it, so I don't want to put them in too much danger. Alright, we'll go there. All that movement's done. Let's push up here with old Nikita. Pop around the corner here. Side's clear. We're just gonna keep pying around here. I don't want my sniper up here so they can cover all directions on this intersection. here to this corner. Pushing up. Shit. I don't have a shot. Can pull back. It worries me a little bit. I've only got two available to fire at them. Then push these guys up. I'll leave those guys as overwatch. Push up with Chen. Pie there that we can see. Move up with Natalie. Pretty sure that corner is clear, but I don't really. Alright, push the shotgun up. Want them to hold fast. Curious what happens here. Absolutely nothing. Interesting. I'm gonna oh. step. Uh, if I step out, I'm just gonna hit this. Push back with this guy. Flank me. fast there. Push up with these guys. So you can get a grenade over the top. Nah, it doesn't look like it. It's gonna get, gonna hit that hedgerow. Right, we're gonna push these guys up now. Alright, Chen's gonna push up on this hedgerow corner. Clear that corner. Alright. Shot. Fucking missed. Right, well, my 
It's gonna move up here. Not likely to hit. Push up. Push up a little bit more with them. Not gonna be able to take a shot without likely hitting one of our own, so not gonna chance it. Shit, that was not smart. I thought he had more points. Uh, yeah. Think before you act. Pay attention. Oh. Yep, that's bad for him. Oh, he got shot in the knee. And so did he. Alright, as long as they're not bleeding out too bad. Uh, got 51% chance times three. There we go. Good, he's not bleeding. Neither is he shot <laughs> way off Ooh. let's go push up shot. right in the Xeno dick perfect the shotgun push up oh, Wilma stack up on this hedgerow I can't. Good. I can clear this corner as well. Keep pushing up. Right, push him up here. Well, that's a tough call. UFO could be here or it could be here. I haven't heard the civilian in a while. A little worried about them. Oh, there's a, there's a civilian. Good. We're just going to push all the way up here. And Dina's going to take up that corner. Reach this door. Stack up on it. Either side. Nikita Lucan. We got that corner covered. I'll push Tabor out here. Okay, continue on. That dude's just going right back in. Fucking balls of steel. Pushing up. Alright, I don't think the UFO is over here. Okay, we got some support now. Chances are the UFO is in this corner over here. Alright, kick open the door. Shotguns in. And I'll take up residence right there. That corner's clear. Got one dead civilian. Uh, 
the civilians going in. I'm on a two. So there's one that he took out. All right, we got the UFO. Pop a squad there. Come up on this door and breach that next. Say so this building is clear, but you never know. Get a little aggressive and pushing up at these guys. Everybody's gone. Still got to clear this building right here. I'm worried about what might be in there. Might be nothing. See, folks, this is why civilians need AR 15s. up on the other side of this ATV. Got the door covered. Looks like we're clear in the front. There's quite a bit of cover here. I like this. I can use that to my advantage. Push up here. Use these covered hay bales for cover. Double cover. up. Get some guns on the door there. Push in to help clear this building. Time for Nikita to take the side entrance. Pop that door open. Back of the UFO. Feeling pretty good right now. Got good line of sight. Good intersecting fields of fire. About ready to blow anything out of the way that comes through that door. I'd like to get my sniper right here so they have line of sight directly into the UFO. That'll be limited, unfortunately, but. First, I'm going to stack my shotguns up on the door. We'll be good for breaching. And we'll post up on this trailer here. Good deal. So we'll be, yeah, we'll be out of the open, but it should be fine. push in directly since he's wounded, but here we go. So we've got a dead civilian. That worries me a little bit. I think we have enough people on the UFO. Post up here. Provide overwatch. Kita's just gonna Hang out over here. All right, Nikita, time for you to earn your paycheck as a private. Okay. Well, that's clear. Go ahead and clear the backside here. Time to get these assholes in the fight. Rest of those points clear on that. Our shotgun still have seven of eight, six of eight. Plenty of ammo left in there. Our sniper back here. So we've lost three civilians, unfortunately. Badass militiaman here with his AR 15. 
cleaned up quite handily. I think he took out what? At least one. Yeah, he took out at least one one alien. And he was right over by the fucking uh, UFO to begin with, so not bad. Pretty good showing. Alright, I think I've got enough people in place right now. We're gonna crack <laughs> open the doors. Who's got a lot of sight? So it's blocked, but. Get some rounds on target. Perfect. That's blocked. That's blocked. From a sniper. Not bad. Shot. Nice. Can't hit him. You on the. Fuck. No. Double fuck. There's our first casualty, unfortunately. Yeah, grenades aren't gonna work. Just keep on. Pushing up with the other guys. I don't want to barge in there just yet. There's old Nikita. Alright, the side is officially clear. Let's see what their response is. Yeah, get some. Well, this guy can do the honors. Right in the face. And that's mission complete. Well, with only one KIA. Well, actually, we'll see. Maybe he survived. All right, here's our AAR. Yep, Wilma Blum killed in action. So we got a few wounded, which is why I wanted to get that med bay up and running as soon as possible. But you can see people actually gain stats. I don't know if, I think it's con contextual based on how they performed in the fight, but I don't know how the surviving local force dude didn't survive. I saw him. Walking around kicking ass. But oh well. Uh, let's see, what do we get? Got one of their engineers. Corpses anyways. Got the data core. Now if we had gone in fucking balls out, started tossing grenades in there, we probably would have destroyed that. So it's good to get that stuff. And try not to go destructive, just not in there. Elsewhere, you can go fucking as far as you want. But that was the first mission and the beginning of a campaign in Xenonauts 2, version 9.3. Thanks for joining me. Catch you next time.